Turn it, turn it wrong way. Wrong way. Forge you, forge you, forge you, forge you. No, just the camera. Move it. Move, turn the chair, son. No, turn the chair. It won't move because it's against the wall. Oh, okay. Oh, Be careful that you don't. There you go. Got too much. Then remember when we did it? Okay. This is the last scripture. Yeah. Wait, no. This this was. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't know what last week's. I have to look. I don't know who was here. So of course you I weren't gonna get you. it. Whatever. You were. You didn't even study anyways. Anyways, yes, I did. I just studied. Study. I just studied. Uh -huh. No. You didn't. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. You didn't. I don't know what last week. I have to go check and see. So well, my thoughts are, are not your no, thoughts. No, neither are my ways. That's right. Is the one. No, there you go. Dad. No, that's right. Dad, I'm done. No, that's right. I did it. That's right. I did it. Okay. I did it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know why. Stop. For my thoughts are. Are not your thoughts and neither are my ways. Uh -uh. My ways. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. My are not your Y'all tell them give it up. There are no ways. Tell them to give it up. Give it up. Uh, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Never, never. Mario, can, can you stop that? Why, why does she need to stop? What are you trying to do? This means you're not going to stop. Neither are your ways. My voice is okay. I don't know. I just, no, you don't. Yes, I did. No, you don't. For my thoughts, are not your ways. Mom, can I see my tick mallets? No. Neither are my ways. Your ways. Six, Lord. Your ways. Can you stop hanging on to it? Can you see Mom? You got this. I got this. I see how you did not do what you were supposed to do. Yes, I did. Why don't you I got the worst thing you did. Oh, you can't cheat. Oh, you're looking at the six commandments? That's funny. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not it. I thought you were going to memorize half of them. Okay. Oh, my thoughts are not good. I thought it's your voice. Get on your chair. Okay. For my thoughts, yes, yes stay in your chair. I need to are your voice. Oh, I'm not just going to show you. Thoughts are not your thoughts. That's what I have no other. Uh, no, let's say I take the knives. Say, that's what I have no other y'all to be for me. Nobody can hear you. That's what I have no other y'all. Hey, you guys, say shalom to Sister Mama and Gabby. Gabby, Gabby. Hi. We miss you guys. All right. Mom, can you go see my thumbs in the aisle? What do we focus on? What do we focus on? Okay, we focus. Thank you. All right. So go ahead and let's do introductions. Scripture remembrance. No, 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 no. Because no. that's not it for the week. That's not yes. the scripture for the week. All right, gave everybody scripture. No, you That's didn't. Right. You didn't give us the scripture for the week. You didn't say it today. You didn't, didn't say it yesterday. I didn't even say anything today. You and yes, you did. Friend. I said, you look like, like can, we, can we do my scripture remembrance from school? And you were like, Isaiah. And I was like, hey. But you didn't study it. Yes, I did. I just studied it right anyway, now. Anyway, I, I do. One, two, three. Eyes on me. Bubble your mouth. All right. Go ahead. We're going to start with introduction. Starting right there. No, me, me, me. No, start. Let our introduction. Do your introduction. Leave. No, stop it. Now. I'm not playing with you. Stop it. 
I know his voice is getting so deep, right? I didn't realize it until one, I think it was the day he turned 12. And then he was talking to my mom and he was like, hi, Lola. And then it got high. I was like, oh! he's turning into a man. A little man. Hi. Since oh, I, I, voice is getting deep. I, 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 I didn't think of the name. OK. Then your name is Kamar. You already said your name is Kamar. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. I can't. I can't think of a name. Well, okay. His name is. I can't think of a name. How was your week? I can't think of a name. I don't know. You don't know how your week was. You have to count of three to get your act together. Are you doing? I'm not dealing with you today. Well, um, I didn't think of a name. No, it's not my fault. We do the same thing every single every week, Aurelius. Every week we do the same thing. It's nothing different. No. One. Two. Say it loud so they can hear you and do your whole introduction. My name was Kamari. My name was Kamari. I love to go to school. This boy loves to go to school. Okay. Moving right along. My name was this. What's your name? My name uh -huh. is Aria. And my week was good because I'm good. It's because I got to see Daniel do lots of funny stuff in school. And also something else. What happened? Oh, she. She, oh, bro, that's gross. Ew, don't put that away now. That's gross. My she pulled her tooth. She complained about her tooth hurting. I told her probably her tooth is loose. So she pulled it out and she put it back in just so she could pull it out on camera. That's disgusting. Brother Ben says, Shalom, he's watching. Hi, At least you're on time this time, Ben. And guess what? I, I, will, I pulled it out by it. She's using the bathroom. Ew. All right, what's your name? Okay, sunset. And how was your week this week, sunset? Put your leg down. Good. Your week was good. That's it's awesome. So happy. Ever. Can you guys hear us just fine? Can you hear Nava? If you can't hear Nava, say I can't hear Nava. Okay, mom. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> We're not doing scripture remembrance this week. Oh, oh really? Did you remember the scripture for this week? Because I wrote down the wrong scripture for scripture remembrance. And uh, he's trying to get by, but that wasn't scripture remembrance this week. Do you remember what it was? I don't remember what it was. Mom, can Wait I a minute, said, hey. All right. Can I do my scripture remembrance? No. Not for a candy. All right. So this week, we're going to make, and these actually look really cool if you uh, make a whole bunch of them and you hang up in your room. But these are progression decorations. So it so starts small and progresses to bigger. And you'll see why we're going to do this project today because we're talking about maturing and so when you if you think about maturing as your age right you start off little and you get bigger and bigger and as you grow up you gain knowledge so that's what we're going to do today and, and okay so Nava they said they can barely hear you so you have to speak up so today's lesson is called maturing into love everybody say Maturing into love. Maturing into love. All right. And in life, right, a lot of times we mature or grow without even knowing it. We just, it's just something we kind of do. So who knows what the word maturity means? Um, Aurelius, what does maturity mean? Ha ha ha. Okay. Ariel, what does maturity mean? about phones and anybody else Aurelius what do you think maturity means okay so he thinks the word mature 
as doing things on your own. That is also correct. Good job, Mo Rose. And yes, we're doing another project. <laughs> I know you know how much you love them. All right. Nava or Kamari, do you want to share how, what you think maturity means? Or to mature? Yes, Nava. You got to be louder. To be grateful or happy. To be grateful or happy. Nava loves being grateful and happy. That is her answer for everything. All right, Kamari, do you have anything? No. Okay, sit up and speak up. Um, my name might be called Grateful and Happy. Maturity. Louder. Maturity is where you can be more trusted. Okay. That's more it. More trust. More, more trusted. And being able to do things without having. Okay, good job. All of these are good examples of maturity. So can you guys give me like a specific example from your life where you have matured in something? You too, Aurelius, or Gabby, what's one way that you have matured? In video games. In video? Minecraft. Okay, I love please explain. Games. Okay, but what does that have to do with maturity? Because see, I mature okay. by being Stop. from a new, not knowing how to make a stick in Minecraft, <laughs> then to being able to find diamonds in Ethereum. Because okay. I don't even know how to make this skin. That's accurate, right? That's because my friend, funny. this is what happened. I oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing for a stick, and he hit stop the stick stop. and a little bit. Stop. Stop. Okay. Thank you, Kamari. That is a correct answer, not the answer I was looking for. Ariel, do you have a specific example, <laughs> or a cha cha, or a Gabby, or Aurelius? You have a specific example of how you matured outside of video games. My little point. Okay. TV show. Go ahead, Ariel. Sit up. I okay. Please, uh -uh. move it and stop. Both of you. All you guys have been playing with it. No, that's Ariel. Okay, well then you sign it up from the table. Okay, how did you mature, Ariel? When I was little, um, I used to can't find my toys and I can't find my tablet. But then now I'm older and now I can easily find my tablet because I keep putting it on my desk. Because okay, usually when I was little, I used to like throw it in my bed or throw it in the toy chest or put it on my dresser and I never could find it. So okay, you're maturing. Uh -uh. You need to be quiet. I'm tired of talking to you about being quiet. Um, so Ariel's talking about maturity and responsibility, and that's what uh Cha Cha and Brother Vince said. They said they matured in responsibility. Um Aurelius also said responsibility. Gabby said got better at reading and learn how to read words on her own. Good job, Gabby. I'm going to give them a real opinion. It's not for you. Okay, but you need to wait and stop talking over people because that's rude. So you just raise your hand. That's what this is. Everybody practice raising your hand. Let me see it. That's what I want to see. When you want to say something, raise your hand. Okay, Kamari. I matured by learning how to not steal an escort from my mom when we were in the States. Still nest quick? Yeah, you know that how you pour the nest quick bunny little thing into the milk and it makes chocolate milk? Yeah. I used to, every morning I used to wake up real early and just dip my fingers in there and eat nest quick. Now I'm telling on himself. I'm about to punish him for that. He's going to be grounded for two weeks. If you guys don't see Kamari for two weeks because he's grounded for stealing when he was little, I mean, that's like five years ago. He's telling on things he did five years ago. So he can't just Aurelius raise his hand. Yes, Aurelius. <laughs> All right. So let's so I'm gonna tell you guys about a way that I have matured recently. So when people used to make me upset, right? I used to just like hold it inside, I used to harbor it, I used to internalize it, right? And I wouldn't say anything to them, but that's not the way that the most high wants us to have. He wants us, when somebody offends us, we're supposed to go to that person and we're supposed to kill them? Yes. No! What we're we supposed to yell at them? Yes. No. When they offend us, we have to go to them and yell at them? No. no. Depends on how many times they offend us. But if I go to them every time, then I should probably never get to the point of yelling. Yeah. And what should I eat them? You. No, I shouldn't eat them or kill them or yell at them, but I should go to what? them and I run should. Run them over. Yes. No. I should not run them over. You should go to them and you won't say, brethren or sister, you made me, you offended me 
song, you made me upset, and that was a nine. And then they should they say sorry, and you should forgive them 700 times times seven. Good job. All right, that was a great example, right? So, actually, I have this situation going on right now where a brother offended me, and I went to him, and I said something to him, and right now we're still not communicating because he doesn't want to talk about it. But I went to him, and I told him how I feel because I actually personally find it freeing when I go to somebody when they hurt my feelings and I say, hey, that hurt my feelings. Doesn't that mean I have to be mad at them? But whatever they did, they hurt my feelings. And probably it was an accident. But I would never know that. I would just be mad like, oh, they're mean to me and they hurt my feelings because I never went to them and told them. And I never gave them an opportunity to apologize, right? So now I don't do that. Now I go and I let them know that, like, hey, you hurt my feelings. And then I allow them the opportunity to uh, for us to discuss the situation. Because it might not even that they did anything wrong. I just took it as something wrong. Right? So let's go to Matthew chapter 18, verse 15. Matthew chapter 18, verse 15. Everybody say Salam, Stacion. Salam, Stacion. Salam, Gia. Shalom, 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 Shalom. Matthew 18, verse 15. There. Ooh, good job, Mars. Come on, are y'all? You alive? Right? You go right and beat you. Oh, stuck her feet in my nose. <laughs> usually, usually Ariel beats Kamari all the time, but Kamari looks like he's Ariel. That wasn't nice. Go ahead, Kamari. You can still read it. Eighteen and fifteen. Matthew chapter eighteen. Okay, Aurelius, we're waiting. You did you get your Bible this time? Come to class with your Bible, Aurelius. Uh, 15. Hey, Jason. Hey. Okay. This so go ahead. Read 18 and 15, Kamari. Okay. 18 and 15. No, chapter 18, verse 15. Matthew. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Thou hast gained thy brother. So, right, you see right here it says, go to him and eat him. No. no, it doesn't. It says, go to him and tell him his fault between me and everybody else. No. Just between me and him, right? Because yeah. sometimes when you confront somebody, if there's other people around, their pride or they may start feeling insecure and so they'll react in a way that you don't want them to. So when they first do something, you go to them just by themselves and you say, hey, Kamari, the other day when you kicked my bike, it made me it made me upset because I felt like you didn't care about my things and I don't kick my bike and I don't want you to kick my bike, right? So I'm not going to bring anybody else. I'm just going to go to Kamari by myself and I'm going to allow Kamari the opportunity to apologize or say whatever. That, oh, I didn't even mean to. I actually tripped and then I kind of bumped into your bike, but I'm sorry. So that's why it's important to go to your brother. So that's uh, why when my mom has important conversations, we don't go over the rest of your stuff. Yes. So I have, I have made this mistake a bajillion times before, and now I'm maturing out of it. Now, when somebody hurts my feelings, I go to them and say, hey, you hurt my feelings, or I feel like you did this to me, because it's important, right? Okay, and so now we're going to go to the scripture memories from last week, not this week, which is Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. I'm just going to read it. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens is higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. So we can't say, oh, well, I know what to do better. I know the Almighty says for me to go to my brethren, but I'm not going to do that because I know better. We have to remember that his ways are above our ways, and his thoughts are above our thoughts. He knows that when you do that, you just keep letting stuff pile up, pile up, pile up, pile up. So the next thing you know, it's this big explosive argument and then maybe now you and that brother aren't even going to be friends anymore all because of little things that you just didn't keep addressing all right so you got to be louder because they can't hear you it builds all buildings and they stick a bond in together and they build the wall over it and then they build it on the castle and then they you're you're mumbling again it builds the whole castle and then they just Never mind, just for me. Okay, thank you. And you didn't raise your hand. Okay, so that was just like a little side note that really has, it does have to do with the lesson, so I'm giving you an example of maturing. 
And I'm also teaching you a valuable lesson that you guys need to practice in your own lives, which is when somebody offends you, do you hold it in? No. no. What do you do? Let it out. Okay, both of you stop. And how do you let it out? Why you want to make this? Walk to louder. You walk to his house. And you'll get muted with switch, which you were tricky. <laughs> and then you're like, yo, you hurt me. Uh, I'm sorry. Or someone push you to the ground. No, you don't push you to the ground. But this is okay, you guys. You got to remember when somebody offends you, go to your brother and let them know and give them an opportunity to repent. All right. And Chachi said hi. And she said it's her birthday. Happy birthday, Wait, Chachi. Wait, it's your birthday? Wait, oh, she's six. You turned six, Chachi? I think she's eight. I don't know how old Chachi is. Neither you are. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Focus, everybody. Happy birthday. birthday. Shh. What did I just say? Bring it back in. All right. So today we're going to be talking really about maturing your heart. We talked about how Kamara matured in video games. And then how he matured and stopped eating on Netflix, which is just stealing. It's not really maturity. And we talked about Ariel about um, being responsible for her thing. Uh, Brother Vincent Cha Cha said responsibility. Gabby said learning to read and reading on her own. So we talked about all these different ways that we can mature. But we're going to be talking about how we can mature in our heart, right? So when we first come into knowledge of the Most High, we learn to yes, ma'am. Fear the Lord, and if you fear the Lord. You read his Bible, you do all his stuff. Okay, it's because you're scared of him. And if you do something bad, you'll be even more scared. So you don't want to do anything more bad it's because you're going to get it not to say, uh, punished. You know, and then he's going to give you a whooping. Not like a whooping like from your mom and dad, like a whooping like a take away your money, take away your kids, like that. Well, sometimes okay. it's like a whooping. Okay, shh. All right, so when we first come to the knowledge of the Most High, like Ariel said, we learn to fear him. But eventually, we should learn to love him, right, and respect him. We learn to fear him through learning the do's and the don'ts of the laws, right? What do we have the 10 do's and don'ts of the law? What are they called? The commandments, right? That's right. So, but we also learn the punishments that go with it. In the beginning, it seems kind of harsh because it's like, don't do this. Be quiet. I'm not saying it again. You're still talking. Ugh. All right. So um, in the beginning, it seems harsh because it's like, if you do this, then you're going to hell. And if you do that, then you're going to get kicked out. And if you do these, then you lose your inheritance. And we see this play over and over and over again with the children of Israel in the wilderness. Yah didn't play with them. When they cut up, he punched them quick and fast. Do your little Belizean snap thing. Do that little... Yeah, I can't do that. You got to do it on camera. You have to do it on camera. So punch them quick and fast. Okay. What were we going to say, Kamari? No. Okay. That's fine. So let's go to Deuteronomy 28. Yes, he, it seems like he was strict, but you're going to see in a little bit that you guys already understand the game. It's just because it's coming from the most high, it seems a little different. But you guys Deuteronomy, already did it. What? Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. Go see about that, please. I know, you had it first. It's okay. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken, hearken diligently, diligently until the voice of Yah, by the Lord thy Yah, by the Lord thy Yah, to of, of observe, observe and do all His commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy Yah will set thee on the high above all nations of the earth. Verse 2. And all, all, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou hearken, hearken to the voice of 
the Lord thy God. So that was the blessings of Deuteronomy 28. Now, hey, Mom, I didn't bless my kids. Stop talking. Now, let's go to Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Go ahead and get her snap. So, same what it shall come to pass if thee thou wilt not hearken until the voice of thy Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that I that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curse shall ah, be overtake thee. Stop, right? So we dealt with blessings in Deuteronomy verse 1 and 2, and then in Deuteronomy 15, he goes into the curses. Now, I think there's 68, I think there's 68 verses. So 1 through 15 deals with blessings. 15 through 68, I have a correct name from wrong. I think it's 68 verses. 15 through 68 deals with nothing but curses. That's a big gap, right? So there is um, there is 14 blessings and 98 curses that the most high lists off to the children right. of Israel. Do you think it's 68? Okay, yeah, 68. Do you think that the children of Israel picked the blessings, or do you think that children of Israel picked the curses? Pick the blessings because that's the whole I could have. You, you would think with 98 curses, they would have picked. Sir, sir. You would think with 98 curses, they would have chosen the blessings. But no. That's why we're here in the Americas because the children of Israel didn't choose the, the blessings, they chose the curses. And now we're here, right? So what do you think about, um, we're going to read, sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. We're going to read Deuteronomy. Two verses of curses. We're going to read Deuteronomy 28 and 53. Because you would think that, hey, we don't want to be cursed really bad. Because these curses get really bad. Like, I mean, really, really bad. What do you think verse 53 will be about? Uh, that he should take children. You think he's going to take away your children? One thing. What do you think verse oh, 53 is going to be about? Shh. I know. What's one thing? What do you think is a really bad thing? Big the most sentence. Are you doing this at school? Yes. We all don't raise our hands. Well, you better stop it. And I don't want you to be that child at school. Okay, so you already gave me one thing. Take away your children. What do you think the worst thing the Almighty would punish the children of Israel with? Ariel. Um, Louder. So kill them. Kamari, one more thing. Send them into slavery forever. Send them into slavery. You think that's the worst thing? Nava, what's the worst thing you think the Almighty would do to the children of Israel to get them to that little collision snap thing? Get in line. Turn it, Aurelia said, turn it to salt. She says 58, except for in the Catholic Bible. Okay, thank you. Dude, what? Be, be, be patient, okay? So that's not really a curse. So he'll be no patience, right? Mari, be quiet. All right. So let's go 28 and we're going to 50 through 53. So 53 is the verse I want to key on. Ariella, go ahead and read this. Make sure you're taking your breath so that you're not yawning because if you start yawning, I'm going to give it to Kamari. Right? So take your breath. So I have to pretty good. Aurelia said turn them on salt and Gabby said kill them. Which right. pretty much there's nothing worse than death. Right? So 50, verse 50. Start at 50. Deuteronomy 28, verse 50. Go. Fears, fears, countenance, countenance, which shall not be regard the curses of the old, nor shall take favor to the young. So they won't care about the old, and they won't care about the young. Okay, go ahead. So baby, they don't care about babies, and they don't care about our grandparents. Right? Keep going. Don't care about my so it looks like I'm in and and he shall eat the fruit of the cattle and the fruit of the land. And um, until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee either, oh, was neither corn, wine, or oil, or 
the increase of thy time or swap for thy sheep unto he hath destroyed thee. So he left you with no animals, no livestock to eat. He left you with no corn, no wine, no oil, so you have no food to eat, right? No sheep, right? And it says until he has destroyed you. Verse 52, keep going, Ariel. And he shall be besiege thee. Besiege thee in thy gates unto thy high and fence walls come down, wherein thou trustest throughout all thy land, and thou besiege shall besiege thee besiege thee um, and all and thy gates and all thy, all thy gates throughout thy land which the Lord thy Yah has given thee so he's going to surround you so you have no food no water no nothing and you're surrounded by the enemy keep going verse 53 this is the one I want to focus on and thou shalt not eat the fruit and thou shalt eat and thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body, the flesh of thy own son, and and of thy daughters, which the Lord thy all have given thee, and the say, siege, siege, and the strait, and in the straightness, uh huh, straightness where where thy enemy shall distress thee. So. He's, he's taking all your animals. You have no animals to eat. You have no water and no plants and no oils and no wine. So you have nothing. And he's all around you. So all you have left to eat is your children. And you eat your children. This is one of the curses that the Almighty put in the Bible. So you would think that, do you want to eat your children? You don't even have children. But do you want to eat them? No. Do you want to eat your children? No, you I don't. I want to eat you guys. I'm going to eat you. No, I don't want to eat my children either. There's a simple way of keeping my mom. Be quiet. So you would think that if the Almighty says, if you don't behave yourself, you're going to eat your children. They're like, you know what? I don't want to eat my children. I'm going to behave myself. But that's not the choice that the children of Israel made. Okay. All right, yeah. Thank you for raising your hand quietly. Um, well, I Louder. This is why you need to be in preparation because if that ever happens to us in World War III, you'll have food to eat. And if he, since he says that he's going to take half of the water, half of the trees, and I think most of the animals, and so the water would turn into blood. And, um, if you prep and stuff before World War III comes, you have water, you have food, and if you're um, in the forest or, um, what was it called, supplies me in the forest and stuff like that, um, you'll have things to make your water clean and everything. Yep. You good, good answer, Ariel. That's why the Bible tells us to watch and pray, right? So that these days won't catch us unaware. So it's, it's one third. Good job, Ariel. Good answer. All right. Yes, Kamari. Oh, that, hey, ma'am. There's one simple way of keeping my mom from eating you. Put a bunch of eggs in her while you're soaking peanut If you put peanut butter on yourself, that's good. That's good. That's good. If you put peanut butter on yourself, I definitely will. Peanut butter is disgusting. Okay. So, I'll eat my sister. With all of that, you were like, man, the Almighty's harsh. But the Almighty's really not harsh because he gave them a way of escape. And the blessings are so amazing. That's like, why would you not want to be best, right? We as parents operate just like this. And you're thinking, you guys don't kill us and stuff. And no, we don't kill you. But the premise of making sure that you guys learn to fear or learn the laws comes first before you learn to love, right? So when you are very little, right, as parents, you spend a lot of time like, no, 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 and then you're no. Goodbye. Five minutes. Goodbye. We spent a lot of time saying no so many times. All the time we say no. No. Stop it. No, you can't climb on top of it. No, you can't do that. And that's because when you're little, you don't know the rules, right? So when the children of Israel came out of Egypt, they didn't know the rules. So the Almighty spent a lot of time saying no, 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 no. And that's not that you wanted to be mean. 
It's just that he needed to establish some things with the children of Israel, right? So we set up boundaries and we set up punishment. Like, if you do that, then this is your consequence. If you do this, then this happens. And when you're a baby, of course, your consequences aren't like a spanking, but it's like redirection. So, like, if a baby climbs on a coffee table, you take the baby off the coffee table. Now, if the baby tried to touch the stove, you might give the baby a little pop pop because that's really dangerous. And you don't want the baby playing with the stove, right? So, we as a parent, we're establishing laws. And what are the, the 10 laws that we said the Almighty established? Louder. 10 with the commandments. 10 and commandments, right? So we establish laws and respect just like the Most High. And as the child gets older, right, as you guys grow, we as parents stop saying no as much, we say it a lot less, and the child begins to learn to love and respect the parent. Well, a good child will learn to love and respect the parent, right? I'm a good child. A key part of love, I didn't say you were. Did I say she wasn't? No. I didn't, thank you, right? So the key part of this, right, is love. Older children, well-behaved ones, obey the rules because they love their parents. Not to say that they don't fear them or that there isn't a reverence, but as you mature, right, or as we all mature, we should get to a point to where we don't do wrong things because we love our father and we don't want to upset them. Right, Ariel? When you... I'm trying to think of something. When you pick something up, right? Say you drop something and you pick it up. Tell the truth. Do you pick it up because you don't want to get in trouble or do you pick it up because you know it'll make mommy happy? It'll make mommy happy. We have a whole incentive chart. Each child has an incentive chart. And when they fill up the chart, they get $5. And it's just of them doing kind acts, just doing things they know they should do because we're all a team and we all have to work together, right? So she does them because she wants to make me happy or she wants the reward. She knows that, hey, if I pick this up, then I'm gonna get a mark on my incentive chart, which is me closer to my $5. And that's the same thing with the Most High. He's no different than your mom and dad, right? So let's go to John 14, 15. There you go. Yes. Oh, you want to say something? Is it gospel? Louder. Is it gospel? Yes, the gospel, John. Okay. Oh, John 15. 14 and 15. 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. I think probably go over this like every service and you guys should know this one by now. If you don't know any other Bible verse by memory, you should know this one. If you love me, if you love me, keep my commandments. Louder, you guys are so loved. If you love me, keep my commandments. That's right. Y'all wants our love and he says it over and over and over and over and over again throughout this whole book. This whole thing. He just wants our love. What do you think your parents want? You want you think your parents want your fear? Or yeah. you think your parents want what do they want? Love. They want your love. They love you so much. That's why they provide and care for you and do nice things for you. Like give you an XD Aurelius, right? An XD is a video game. No, I'm just joking. They give you things that they know to make you happy. Sometimes I just I'm at the store and I see a little Lego set and I know Kamari loves Legos. So I pick it up, or I see some Reese's, and I know he loves Reese's, so I pick it up. Or if I go to the ice cream shop and I see that they have Cookie Monster ice cream, I just grab it because Aurelius thinks he has better ice cream than us, but he's wrong. You know, I just when I see things that I know my children like, like the other day I was at the store and they had little minion packs of like little Teddy Graham cookies, and I was like, hey, they like these or the Annie's cookies. I know just little things. I grab them because I love my children and I want to make them happy. And they're good kids. So they should be rewarded, right? They should get the blessings from being good children. And the most high is the exact same. Your mother and father are like in the same set as the most high. My husband taught a service and he says, you are your children's Moses. And it's true. Moses was there. He was like a parent to the children of Israel because he even got mad. He's like, did I even, did I birth all these people? I didn't even give birth to these people, yet they burdened me so much. Moses was the parent for 
for the children of Israel. He brought them into the wilderness, right? And he cur he cultured them and he nurtured them and brought them out of, well, he didn't technically bring them out, right? But then he brought them out of the wilderness, right? Moses was their parent. And it taught them how to be obedient in the same way that they need to be obedient to the most high. Yes, ma'am. Um, you aren't, aren't um, um, technically God just should, because um, Isaiah chapter, I think it was, um, I think it was nine, something like that says, as for my God, no, oh, Isaiah my, 58, yes, eight and nine. Yes, no, I'm not, but I'm in like. You're kind of like. It's parable. like we're like a, like a, um, like not a parable. That's the word for. We're just like a small replica. So your relationship, when you're an adult with the Most High, is a parent and child relationship. And clearly, our relationship, right, is a parent and child relationship. So it's a parent and child, child. It's a parent and child, 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 child relationship. But individually, it is a parent and child relationship. And when you get older, it is a parent and child relationship. So a lot of the same things that you see happen between you and your parent, you'll see happen between you and the most high, right? You transgress, he corrects you. You do good, he blesses you, right? Same, same exact thing. So let's go to Deuteronomy 6 and 5. Kamara, you can come back if you're ready. Go ahead, Aria. And thou, and thou shalt love the, the Lord with all thine heart and with all thy soul. Hey, I need to finish the verse. No, I'll find mine. I need to switch our scripture. Remember. Yes, this scripture happens a lot of times. Where this this quotation is repeated several times throughout the Bible. You can have a piece of fruit. You want a piece of fruit? You want plum? Come on, please give Zazie a pound. She's okay. They're not that expensive. They're five dollars for a pound. So oh, give her a pound. Make, make her happy. Again, this is another example of how the Most High wants our love. John fourteen and twenty one. The tiny ones, right? Yes, sir. Fourteen twenty one. Keep on. Go ahead. He thou have commandments and keepeth them. He is he it is that loveth me and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father and I will love him and and will manage manifest myself to him. You don't want it? Okay. Right again, another verse on love. Let's go to four, John fourteen twenty three. Oh, there. Hmm? And Yahshua answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my word, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our adult abode abode with him again. Love, right? John 5 and 3. I said animal crackers. That's fine. Put it up. I asked for animal crackers. They're right there on the phone. If these law a For this, John, first John, sorry. First John, guys, my fault. Should have asked if it was the gospel, John. I'm just showing you. My fault. Yeah. You want animal cookies? There. Them? No, no, put them, put them up. It's fine. First John, first John, five, five and three. Come For this is the love of Yah that we keep it, it, keep his commandments, and his commandments are not vicious. It is not like vicious, it's grievous, right? Oh. His commandments are not grievous. I want to really. So I really want us to focus in on 1 John 5 and 3. Yah's commandments are not grievous to those who seek to love Yah. Let's That's go to Proverbs. 
You ready to leave again? That is a very bad habit that you picked up from school. Proverbs 15 and 10. Go ahead. Correction is grievous unto him that forsake. Forsake? Forsake the way and he that hated reproof shall die. That's right. So correction is grievous unto him who forsaketh the way. So if you're finding it hard to keep Yah's commandments and his rules, right, it's probably because you're half doing it. It's like you're lukewarm or sort of kind of like go to Matthew 6 yep, and 24. Matthew 6 and 24. Yes, <sighs> I would have had to reach him to lean for the part. So it's sort of kind of like somebody who's in this situation. And you're off camera again. Mari needs to read it because uh, uh, Dr. Jim 2 is. 6 and 24. Okay, go ahead and read it, Mari. 624. 624, yes. Um, no man can serve two masters, for neither he will have for either, for either he will hate one. And love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. So you can't you cannot serve. That's it, that's it. Ah, I know, but I cut the first one. You can't serve two masters. You're either going to do what the Almighty says, or you're going to do what Satan says. And you may be like, oh, well, I'm not doing what Satan says. He didn't tell me anything. But if you're doing things that are not what the Almighty said, it's likely that you're, and it's wrong, it's likely that you're doing what Satan wants you to do, right? So let us grow and let us mature into loving y'all with our whole heart. So we're going to give him 89%. We're going to give him 62%. We're going to give him 99.9%. No, you're off camera, all the way off camera. Why are you being so rebellious today? Get all the way over here. Sit right there at the table. No, we're going to give him 100%, right? Our whole heart. And when we do that, right, we're going to grow to a point where we don't desire to sin because we love the Father and we want to make him happy. Because when you make your parents happy, what do you get? Spankings? Yeah. Snakes? No. You get a Lamborghini. You get a Lamborghini. That's exactly what you don't get from your parents. What do you get when you're when you behave yourself and you're good children? Yes, tomorrow. Tarantula. I can't hear you. Tarantula. I did not give you tarantulas. You find those on your own. What do you get when you behave yourself? A tree, I get a owl. Louder. I a tree or I get an owl TV. An owl TV. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Two dollars and so your scripture remembrance for this week is Isaiah fifty-eight. Verses 8 and 9. Again, for the third year girl. Now I'm joking. The scripture remembrance for this week is um, we're going to go with Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. And he that heareth reproof, or he that heareth reproof shall die. Hate it. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. He that hateth reproof shall die. And Aurelius said, you get treats. When you're good. That's right. And he said we have to give 100%. Yes, Nava. You said no problem. Nava said we get to when we're good. That's right. And that's Proverbs 15, verse 10. Correction is grievous to him that forsaketh the way, and he that hated the food. You're not getting any more crack cookies. Correction is grievous. So you can have this plum. You can have this the way. And no more. And he right. that hated the reproof shall die. Okay, I got the truth. Aurelius said a thousand percent is better, and I agree, Aurelius. No. So I on Google, Google, Google Plex. Okay, well, I'm going to find out real quick. So now we're going to work on Aurelius. You want it? Now we're going to work on Aurelius' favorite part, the project! Yeah. Aurelius loves to do projects. Yeah. All right.
So today it's really simple. You just need colored paper. So you can use white paper and you can just color it if you don't have colored paper. And you're going to need some string, scissors, and glue. That's it. So here's a string. Here's my twine. We've got some blue and white twine and some pink and white twine. Yes, Aurelius Project. Here's your glue. We need one more glue stick. Somebody go, oh, we have glue stick. Okay. We have scissors. Yes, ma'am. Can I, um... Uh, no, because I'm talking. Stop, stop. We need to find one more. I need you guys to go find one pair of scissors. And then put them back. Those are my scissors. And then we need, I want to pre cut hard templates, but you don't have to. You need three different size hearts, right? So I have, uh oh. I have three different size hearts right here. You see all three? And you're going to need four of each heart. So I'm gonna need four brown, four green, and four black, or whatever colors you choose, or white, it doesn't matter. You can do a white again. And you need four of each size. Three different size hearts and four of each size. So I have already cut them out for my children, but I'm gonna show you guys. Here, take that please. I hope you guys remember from last week when we um when we did the um uh, hearts how we did them to make it easy to, that's that, to make it easy to um, cut. There's that. Oh, put the Bibles away, please. There you go. Kamara, please hand me your green heart. I want to give that to Kamara. It'll make it easier for her to see. Thank you. Okay. So everybody's got three different size hearts. Hi, guys. Thank you, Ari, for taking the Bibles and over the head. I need this so I can this So first, you need three different size hearts. Yes, sir. Um, my my score roof is so low. Yeah, I Cool. Okay. So quickly. Remember from last week when we did our heart project with the waterfall heart? Please give everybody one pencil now. You fold your paper in half. Make sure you line your paper up, right? And then you make a crease. So I'm just going to take this template. It doesn't matter. You could just draw freehand. Cut. And you're going to, on the fold. It doesn't matter. On the fold, right, you have your paper, you fold it in half. On the fold, you're going to draw a teardrop for your heart, but only half of the heart. So we're going to fold. Here's my heart. I fold my heart in half. Here, I'll put it here so you can see. Here's my heart. I fold my heart in half. I have my paper that's folded in half, and I line my heart up on the paper. So you guys are going to do the same thing. Here is your paper. Now listen up. You have smaller papers. You can get your, both your small and your medium part on your smaller paper. And then it's going to take two large papers to make all of your, your four big parts. But when you do your big parts, right, make sure you fold the paper like this and line your hearts up so that they're really close together. This is for them. You don't have to. I don't know what your paper is going to look like. It's probably just one of you. But to conserve paper, I want us to try and utilize as much as the paper as we can. So I don't want you to draw your heart right in the middle. I want you to draw your big heart as close to the top as you can. Right, you see that? Can we see your, your next big heart, Nama? And then do the other one right behind it, right? No, you can't do this. Okay, this one won't fit on here. Let me see if it's the other one. I thought I could get two of them out here. Maybe it's this way. Fold it hot dog style, not hamburger style. Hi. Yep, there you go. So fold it hot dog style. And this is just an eight and a half by 11. So see, on this eight and a half by 11, if I scoop them, then I can fit two of them up there, right? So there you go, Ariel. Here you go, Nava. So you guys pick, you can get, uh, I think you can get three. So for your medium hearts, you need two different small papers. And for your big hearts, you need two different small papers, but you need one paper for your um, for your small heart. Mark, please take your paper and pick your colors. Go ahead. Two for your medium, one for your small. Okay. 
Back to you guys. Now, please. What color are you going to do, Heart? You want some paper and a pencil? You want colors, I think? Oh, I can make a chandelier with this. You could make a chandelier. Okay, so back to you guys again. Here's my heart. What color do you want now? Because I can just trace yours for you. What, what color small hearts or medium hearts do you want? I'll try to get you want green and red? Yeah. Okay, what about for your small and medium heart? What color? Let me know. You want pink? Okay. So I'll do this right here. I'll try to make a big heart like funny and then. No, you're going to trace and cut, please. Thank you. So, you want your small hearts on pink? Okay, so there's one. Now I'm going to trace the second one. And then Nava's going to cut these out. Nava's a good cutter. Are you a good cutter, Nava? Yes. I'm the queen of them. Three. And... Four. I'm not that good because I just have a tiny bit when I was cutting all these dolls. And you want to make sure that they're all the same size. This is important. So here, can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. So on there, I've traced four times this one little heart shape. Well, if you practice over at least, you'll get better. So I took this one heart shape, I fold it in half, and then I trace it. One, two, three. Uh-oh. Okay. Four times, right? And again, make sure you put it on the crease side. Don't put it on the open side or you'll end up with two teardrops. Right? So now you can go ahead and cut that. Which color did you want for your medium marks? What, what color did you want for this side? So you just did this one. What color do you want for your medium? You want green for your medium? Okay. I don't think I have a green small one. I need that pink and that Yes, I can. Kamara, can you pull the camera screen down just a little bit, please? Huh? Mm -hmm. You don't act yes. like that. You say, can you finish doing this? Ariel, can you please leave him alone? Teacher. Okay, so here, another one for medium hearts. Let me give Nava some medium hearts like right this, here. Mommy? Mark, can you pull the camera down a little bit, please? Like this? Uh, yeah, you're doing a good job. Yeah. Oh, yes. Sorry. So now I'm going to trace Nava's medium heart, right? Hopefully, I can. I'm going to give it a good one here. Yeah, keep cutting. Cut on the line. So you missed the line right there. Cut the line. That, you're not on the line. Let's see. Wait, so we have to do four of these? Uh yeah, but you fold it the wrong you fold it the wrong way. Remember I said you need to fold it hot dog style because then you can fit four of them up there. So now you're gonna have to get another piece of pink paper. If you want a pink medium heart, maybe you'll be able to put a pink medium heart or small heart up there. But fold it hot dog style, please. That's fine, just disconnect it. Cut on the line. There you go. Okay, so let me trace now the medium heart out. Yeah, hot dogs. Yeah, I really want a real hot dog. Mm -hmm. It does sound nice. Mm -hmm. You want another pencil? Do grill, and then you can do grill hot dogs. You know those ones? Yeah, usually Tay grills are hot dogs. I yeah. want real hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I no. Like Daddy, go ask Tay if you grow some hot dogs what? for us tomorrow. No, you know what Tay needs to do for us? What? He can make his famous macaroni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tay's yeah. macaroni. You guys can want some of Tay's macaroni. Yeah. Macaroni, chicken wings, chicken wings. Whose macaroni do you like better, Nana's macaroni or Tay's macaroni or the macaroni I just made the other day? The one, the one with the, one with the vegetables and then I have chicken in there, remember? What? I like it because I didn't like the chicken in there. You didn't like I like yes. nanas. You like nanas with the vegetables with the broccoli? I'll choose to taste nanas. Man, you guys were all over my macaroni. Now you guys gonna clown me on camera? See how it be your own kid. I, 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 your own I, I, kid. I, I, I don't really know. I kind of like yours because you just have different vegetables and I like. 
because it had the cauliflower, yeah. broccoli, and carrots. Yeah, I have mushrooms. Oh, I think I put corn in there too. Then I put oh, yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's I like all it. kids, clown you on live camera. Okay, hey, mommy, you this can mom, be something with I, do I like didn't this? clown you, mom. I no, you put it hamburger style again. Cut it, fold it hot dog style. This is I no, that's hamburger. Oh, this is like hot dog. Oh, this is like this? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't make it extra extra cheesy because cheese here sucks. Yeah. And how does it taste? Make this. It's, it's no cheese here is cheesy because it the cheese coagulates and I mean it's cheesy like when it's first like fresh and hot but after that it's not really cheesy. I like yours too. Yours is delicious. Thank you, Nava. You got all your hearts together, Nava. What do you need? You need a new paper. Nava, can you grab the some colored pencils for Sarah? Yeah, that's good. Right there. Just a couple, Nava. Good. Yeah, that's good. We have a couple of So now I'm cutting out Nava's four middle middle hearts. I get them. Okay, now the paper, I got some paper on the floor over here, underneath the table. Can you get it and give it to her? Yes, give it to her. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? That song came from TikTok. Oh. Yeah. Ah, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I don't care. Aiden, Aiden, I think also. Oh, and I think Danny knows that. So there's every baby person. How's it going for you guys? I can't see my phone, guys, so I can't see the comments anymore. Oh, Kamari, grab me the phone on the. Awesome blessings. Can you grab me, Kamari? Can you please grab me my phone on the on the um counter, please? On the oh, counter. Seven counter. Blessings. Did you cut your hearts wrong? No. Oh. Are you sure about that? Oh yeah. Ah. Kamari, cut his heart wrong. Kamari, cut his heart wrong. Kamari, cut his heart wrong. Stop. Kitchen counter. Kitchen. I hear you. Stop. 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 This happened now. We were going from school, I think. Oh, yeah. And then the guy was like, stop. And then the next guy was like, meow. So we are driving stop. I forgot where Stop. 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 Here, if you want small hearts on that, you can just come right Excuse me while I go to my Facebook so I can see your guys' comments. Since you don't want to cut your stuff, I'm cutting it for you. You have to be patient. So, which what color do you want for your big hearts? Here's your medium hearts. You got your small hearts. What color do you want for your medium hearts? Nava, what color do you want for your for your big hearts? You think yellow? I thought you wanted red. You don't want red anymore? Yeah, it does. Raise your hand if you want them. So again, the big hearts, I'm going to fold hot dog style, Aria. You, you know what I want to eat? A Lamborghini. No. <laughs> I want one of those burgers. I'll see my hot dogs, right? I mean hamburgers. I want one of those burgers from no. Bravo Lynch. You, oh, you, you don't want You don't want those. You yeah, want five burgers. I, I don't want, want a hot burger. I want a hamburger. I want pizza. A hot a hot dog. Dog. I want pizza. I want pizza. He was trying to say, macaroni, uh, and all this macaroni, and that's it. Or and, it. and he called them hard. And that's it. <laughs> I want to go yeah. to Daddy's house, and that's it. Aurelia said, honestly, he wants to eat a hamburger as well. Aurelia, this one has like pumpkin seeds on the bread. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. 
Remember, you need four, you need three different size hearts. And you need four of each size heart. Pumpkin seeds? Yes. Yes, they're so delicious on top. And it's like a quarter pound beef patty. Oh, yummy. Yeah, I got to cut that out. Oh, um. Uh, at Miss Tatiana told Ozeal to jump fast, and when Ozeal went back to uh, oh, that in the, the class, he's no, like, no, I think, uh, you're not on one. Cut, um, you know, oh, what's the little strong? Hold on, hold on. Right there, you have the scissors. Look on the side. Look on the side. See how it's right on the line? So now you're going to cut on the line. Nice look. Look. Your mom can, can we write oh. something on our hearts? Yes, you can write something on our hearts. Mom. Yes, I see. Tiny. Tiny. How's it going for cutting out your hearts, guys? Corpitos, corpitos. Um, honestly, I don't want to do five big hearts. Okay. You want me to do it? Well, I like how I just you're doing you're doing really good. Wow. Wait, so, wait, so now I'm gonna start with what do you know small heart? Okay, I'm about to give instructions so you guys can be quiet. Now but what color string do you want? I think blue. Okay, so now it wants a blue string. So you need to measure out, once you have all your hearts cut out, you need to measure out how much string you want because depending on how much string you want depends on how long or how wide you want them to face. So at first I had my heart space really wide, but I didn't like that very well. So then I moved it so that they were closer together. And I also wanted a little bit of string at the top so I can make a loop. So there's actually a loop right here. And then at the bottom, I just did like a little fringe. But you could do, you could put beads at the end of your string. You could do whatever. But I put like a Kamari. I said you need to be quiet. Oh my gosh, Aurelia, come get your friend. Who pants is this? Uh, so I put like a fringe at the bottom of mine. So I've got a bunch of little strings all together. But you could put beads. You could put a lot of things at the bottom of yours. So I'm just going to, I don't know. I eyeballed mine. I don't know how much. And then I cut off the rest and made my fringe out. So I'm just going to cut some off. And I'm going to go ahead and make a loop for now at the top. So the way I did the loop, I don't know if you can see it here. Maybe we'll do it here. I took some and I folded it over. Yeah. And then I created a loop and I pulled it through. I created this loop. I like this still like the heart. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so now I've got Nava's loop and I've got her string kind of long. And I'm gonna, because I've got the small heart, because it's progression, so I'm gonna start at the bottom. And you're gonna take, you've got four hearts, so it's four of one size, I'm gonna start with just one size. So I've got all four hearts. Three of the hearts you're gonna put glue on. Take my glue stick. And I'm gonna put a good amount of glue on all three hearts, especially in the middle. The middle is very important, you'll see why here in a minute. Glue, 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 glue. How many glue? Glue how many? Many the hearts. Good job. How many sides do you put glue? I mean, how many hearts do you put glue on? How many hearts do you put glue on? Three. Three. Okay. Here you go. So now that I have glue on three of the hearts, I'm gonna take her string again, more so at the bottom, right? Let me see. Let me measure mine. Yours. Here's my loop. So around here, I have mine to measure, but you know. So I'm going to put the string in the middle of the heart. There's glue on this heart. It's one of my three that I put glue on. So I'm going to put the string in the middle of the heart like that. And then I'm going to fold my next glue heart. You can fold it in half. Right, and you're gonna line it up. Okay, Sazi, you gotta wait. Line it up with the heart that you had that you have a string on, right? So now I have two parts glued together. 
right? And you're going to do that again with the third part. Fold it over, fold it back, fold this one over, and I'm put this one down too. I'm going to line it up. This is why I says, God, it's kind of important that you line your, keep your hearts all the same size. And then finally, I've got my last heart that doesn't have the glue on it. So I'm going to fold that one and get that one to stick to the other three. And then we have this. This is how much hard it's like. You need to get them not to here, not to here, all the way to the top See? of the whole part. Now I have all four of my hearts put together. I'm going to do it again so you guys can see it, okay? So that was my small heart. So I'm going to move up just a little bit, and I'm going to do the medium heart. How about now that you put glue? Can I have the glue, please? I need the glue. Um, this is where you got to get This is where you got to get this. Okay. Nava, can you, can you glue three of your medium hearts together for me? Put glue on three of them. Here you go. Oh, you already have them. Here you go. All around. All around the whole heart. Mom, can you please make cut some more yellow for me? Actually, here, you need one more yellow. How many yellows do you need? There's one or two. I'm trying to ask you a question so I know what's due for you when you're running around. Do you how many more yellows do you need? Um, one more. Okay, so then just fold this one like this. There you go. Okay, next heart, Nava. So Nava's got blue all over this heart, a lot of blue. So I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna put the paper. Okay. So. Okay, now I'll put you on one more heart. And mommy, can you help me? Um, 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 um. Oh, get that. Okay. One more heart. Um, I want this heart. heart. Okay. Get your strength, Mari. Cut your strength. You have some blue strength. So now I glue one heart to the next heart. Wait, no. You need light green? There you go. Okay. Now we start our third one done. Okay, now now we'll start gluing your, your big red hearts. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Oh, dude. E -B -E -B -E. And if when you put your hearts all together, if you don't like where they are, it's okay because as long as your glue didn't dry, you can still slide your hearts around. And give yourself more or less space. So, uh oh, I messed up. I glued those two together. So I've got three hearts glued together. Now here's the fourth one with no glue. I'm gonna stick that one in here, and I'm gonna smash them all together. Line them all up and smash them all together. Okay, next heart. You got all. Okay, um, you got all your red ones done. No. So now we've got we've got our first two. We've got oh. our small one. We've got our medium one. I'm just going to this way And now we're going to do our last one. We're going to do our red one. So again, I'm going to take and I'm going to stick the string. I'm going to try and make sure they're kind of even, right? The enough, the same amount of gap between both of them. Okay, sit down. Zazi, you got to wait, baby. I don't know why you threw everything off the, um, the tray. So here's my second heart. Zahara. Wait. 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 You're done now, but you don't need to look. You're, you're all done. But this one. You don't need to look. You only need to go on three hearts. And you got all three hearts. Actually, this is one. Two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got all three hearts. Good already. Okay. Can you see that one? I just need to do something with the bottom. Oh, you be like, you yeah, I just gotta line them up. And I almost have mine. You just glue them like this one. Huh? You, you cut them out, you put glue on three, you put glue on all three sides. And you put glue on all three sides. That's the first step. Oh, yes, your heart woman. Dun, dun, dun. Heart woman to the rescue. That's the template. It doesn't matter. It's just a template. Yeah. That's fine. 
Um, so, um, so, uh, and two, and um, three, and all four. Stop hopping, Mary Carlson. And I got glue all over my hands. Uh, glue is amazing. Okay. Especially so now I have all four okay. of the big cars together. So then we're all done. See, I don't like how that is. Let me just slide this down. Mom, what's the bottom? I love it. I can slide this down. Yellow. There you go. Yellow. And then at the bottom, what do you want to do at the bottom? Yellow. Red. Red. You want to put some different color strings? So when I make the fringe, all I did was, if you're going to do like a fringe, then I would I would do your last, the pink heart last. I just opened it back up, and I just stuck the string in there and cut it according to size. So I'm going to open this back up. Yeah. Remember I said wait? So there, I'd open it back up, and you can see the string in there. Not really, but that's amazing. So I've got the string right there, and now I'm going to take the end that I just cut off, and I'm going to stick it in there. Okay, get some. And then when we're all done, I'm going to cut it so it's the same length as the first one. Peek up. Maybe I'm going to cut it. There we go. And I'm going to stick this tail back in there again. And I'm cut it again. What's wrong, Zazie? What happened? You hit your mouth? You hit him on the chair? Oh, baby, I'm sorry. Peek up. And the pink string, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to stick it in here. You want some water? You want some juice? You want juice? Freedom. So, all right, Ariel, can you get her some juice, please? Freedom. Can I finish your food? Huh? Can I finish your food? You don't need such a long string, guys. Freedom. There you go. And then my last, excuse me. There you go. Oh, it's stuck to me. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Can I see your glue, Ariel? Need help. You need, need help? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, need help. Oh, that's what he used to say when he was a baby. Need help. Okay. Need help. Hold on one second. Need help. No, he needs hope. Okay, there you go. Now we're all done. You're done. It's all done. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. What's wrong? What do you need help with? I don't know. You don't know what? You didn't put glue on the whole thing. You gotta put glue on, on the whole thing. The whole heart. The whole thing. The whole thing. On three of them. No. Dee 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 dee. Don't show them on the camera now, but. You got I, I, me, me, help. Me, help. No, 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 more. I, I, me, me, help. Me, help. No, more. I, I, me, me, help. Me, help. 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 Pink. Me, help. And I'm going to just do it. Okay, where's your fourth medium heart? That's Ariel's, right? No. Yeah. Where's my bottle? Okay. I don't know. Okay. 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 For the space, then you put that in there, right? You're gonna fold all of them over, fold it over, and you're gonna line it up, you're gonna match it up. She's gonna help some size, right? Then fold that one over, same thing. That's one, all right. Oh no, yeah, right here. And then you take the final one on there, just like that, and then you kind of Separate 
Looks like you put blue on that side too. Just you know. There you go. There's your medium. Now he's going to be your large. Nico. Nava, let's, oh, Nava's got hers in the fan. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me see if I can see it. Can see it. Knee help. Okay. Do your next one. Do your big hearts. Knee help. Oh. No, two. Next, Kamari. Stop shoving your mouth with, what is that? Where did that even come from? You just put crumbs all over the place. Like you pulled it out your pocket. Look at our little kite. Our uh, corgi kites. Yay. Ladies. All right, guys, that's it for today's lesson. We'll I love you is. to yawn back and see some comments. What? 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 Oh, you like the crap now? And um, Aurelius' sister said hello. Is it smaller? It's his little sister. I think she just. I, I, we have to clean up first. Oh. All right, you guys. I love you to yawn back. You have a great rest of the seven. Bye. 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 Uh, we are at um, one hour and 20 minutes. Okay, I said wait.